As a university trained journalist from a top 10 university, I can tell you that I've been interviewing people my whole life. It's one of the reasons that I chose journalism as a field of study. I'm also a pretty marvelous writer most of the time, and most people appreciate the scripts that I write, the presentations that I can produce, and the editing that I do of other people's work when they're just slightly off track. But what I can say to you at this moment of time is that what I'm producing now is not solely for the protection of my life from the immoral hatred that I've been experiencing in a community that I never expected to experience anything but positive diversity and a joy of living. But what I can tell you is that I'm not mad. I'm furious about what people think they have the right to do to my human body. And any person in America, male or female, has the right to feel indignified when someone is literally abusing them and they don't have some right and they don't have some ability for some reason which is sort of an act of treason, to say no to the abuse. You see, usually abusers do things in front of you. Usually you have the right to say no or fight back in some way with some sort of mental fortitude or physical uh, capabilities. But in my case, because of the militarized training and abuse that I received in a Marion County jail, you see, I don't seem to have the ability to wake when I should be waking. You see, I'm a light sleeper by nature, but I'm also a deep sleeper and that I have very productive sleep. But I had family members that kept insisting that I wasn't sleeping, which was untrue. But what we also know is that there are a lot of people, including Muslims, that like to abuse. And I know that I was abused in that situation. And it wasn't the right to do it, but they did it anyway. So nobody can take the moral high ground on me about how they're feeling about what I'm saying. What they need to understand is, in general, I'm pretty happy, I'm pretty content, I'm pretty peaceful, I'm pretty gentlemanly, and I need, need nothing from you. But I do deserve a little bit of tolerance. And everyone in America deserves a little bit of compassion and kindness. And I can be reminded of a 20-something-year-old girl who liked to twang herself with, kindness doesn't th cost a thing. And she would repeat it over and over again, which I think she was doing that for her own emotional health as opposed to being annoying to me with a repeti repetition of something that became more and more less um, sincere, as she said it over the course of a morning meal. But what I can tell you is that people have rights. And right now in my life, that is a focus for me in political consulting and marketing, is making sure that people and consumers like me have rights to do things.